welcome back to all of you let's get explore uh, hard disk types when we are going to create the virtual machines as you know that in the virtualization industry we are mostly working uh, on three major component the one uh, was the compute the second one was networking and the third one was storage so right now we are on the uh, phase of uh, storage so let's move and discuss uh, the hard disk types for VM. So when previously we create virtual machines, so the wizard asked me about the type of hard disk uh, during the creation of virtual machine. Let's say here we 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 have the, we have the same scenario. Here I have the machine, and uh, when I right uh, click on it and go to the edit setting button. And uh, I walk through for you can see here. Here is the hard disk type, and here you can see that <clears throat> right now the hard disk type is thin provision. Here you can see that thin provision. So uh, when uh, when I was creating the virtual machine, I select the hard disk type thin provision. Let's share to share with you here. You here, uh, uh, let me clear for you. So the first uh, type of hard disk was thin provision and after that we have two more options related to the storage other one is called thick eager option and uh, last one is called thick Zeroid. Okay, so we have three types of hard disk available, and you can uh, get demo again from here. Uh, let me uh, give you another example. Here you can see that if I right click on the virtual machine, go to the edit setting button, and I just want to create an other hard disk type. So uh, when whenever I click on add hard disk, then uh, this this uh, wizard will again ask me the same questions. Here you can see that here uh, here here you can see that the types of uh, uh, disk provisioning is from is started with the thin, then thick, and uh, then. Uh, Take provision with eagerly zeroed. So we have three options. Number one is thin. Number two was uh, uh, number two is uh, thick lazy. While the third one is called thick eagerly. So here uh, I have uh, already discussed with you uh, this hard disk types. <clears throat> so let's get into the deep dive and uh, understand what type of uh, options available inside the thin provision generally it's recommended uh, uh, in any kind of enterprise virtualization infrastructure whenever you are going to create the virtual machine you have to be select the thin provision that is the recommended and best option uh, during the creation of virtual machine now question raises why that is the important question so let me uh, discuss an example with you to explore this concept of why <clears throat> let's say if you are going to create this virtual machine over here and this is the storage data store on which we are going to create the virtual machine and this uh, storage data store size is almost one TB, right? And when I create the virtual machine, virtual machine asked me about uh, the size of this virtual machine hard disk, and I reply in a question that I will create a uh, five GB of hard disk. It says okay, but <coughs> when I select the hard disk size is five hundred GB. 
and after the uh, creation of virtual machine i started the operating system installation and other applications which i require for the uh, virtual machine and when i have done with all kind of implementation related to the updates application installation operating system installation i analyze that from this space uh, from this 500 gb i have only utilized 100 gb and 500 gb is, is still available for the purpose of utilization but when we select the thin provision thin provision means that uh, you can uh, you can uh, create a, a large amount of uh, or a large capacity of a hard drive but this this thin provision technology only contain uh, space which is already utilized which means that if a hard, the created hard disk size is 500 gb but after implementation of the operating system and application installation i only utilize 100 gb so 400 gb is, is still available to this data store for creating other virtual machines so it means that thin provision assign thin provision assign space dynamically it will not reserve complete 500 gb to this virtual machine it only occupy those spaces which are required or which are contained by operating system and other application and all the remaining spaces will be available to this data store right now so only 100 gb will be utilized and 400 gb is still free uh, here available uh, for the purpose of utilization and you can uh, you can analyze this this uh, term for uh, this this uh, uh, technology from here here you can see that when i click uh, on the data stores here i have the data store here you can see that i created let me clear this whole uh, work for you so you can easily okay so here here you can see that the uh, the hardest size of the virtual machine is 32.5 gb and how much space is uh, still utilized 29.58 gb but still 2.9 gb is free if you want to create an other hard disk on the same data store it is this space is available for you here you can uh, see that when I click on the virtual machine When I click on the virtual machine and uh, Here is the storage space here. You can see that Here you can see that now I'm going to create The virtual machine and you will analyze that here is the size 35 GB already uh, created for this virtual machine but if I want to add the hard disk here you can see that new standard hard disk and here you can see that the disk size is specified is greater than the amount available in the data store which means that only uh, uh, almost 3 GB space is available for creating a new hard disk and this size is mentioned over here here you can see that because when previously when we create the hard disk here is the previous hard disk and you see this space is then provision and maximum uh, size is, is still free is 2.9 GB and when we create a new hard disk here you can see that 2.92 GB is still available for creating the new hard disk so that's why i told you whenever you are going to create any kind of virtual machine in your enterprise networks you have to be select uh, you must have to be select the thin provision technology here is the thin benefit so uh, thin have the capability to utilize the resources in a best manner or in a better way
when we go with the uh, thick technology here you can say so we have two more important types related to the uh, uh, thick technology one is called uh, eager and the other one is called lazy so let's understand thick with eager option uh, thick with eager option so uh, what will happen if we select the uh, the hardest type to uh, thick eager and eager zeroid thick disk space uh, has all space allocated and whipped clean of any previous content on the physical media aid creation time so <clears throat> If I'm going to create in a virtual machine over this data store here, you can see if I discuss in the previous scenario here, this virtual machine is created on this data store, right? And this data store have a capacity of almost, let's simple the scenario, almost 1000 GB, right? And when you create this virtual machine, you select the hardest size almost about sorry, 500 GB, right? So as you create the hardest, this data store will remain only 500 GB because this technology will automatically occupy all the space which you selected for the uh, virtual machine creation or related to the hard disk while thin provision only occupy uh, those spaces which are required or which are contained by the operating system and application so that is the important factor so if you create the virtual machine and after com completion of all the deployments related to the software and you you analyze that only 200 gb space is utilized and 300 gb is still available on this data on on this virtual machine but this 300 gb is useless for you because thick eager technology will occupy all the space which you select during the creation of virtual machine what meaning by the eager eager meaning as you create the thick drive it will format all the previous data without any notification while when we talk about uh, other technology which is called thick but in a category of lazy here i can also verify from uh, the the virtual machine demo <clears throat> Here you can see that uh, when I go for the edit setting button, let me discuss over here and I add the hard disk and uh, I use the new hard disk. Let's clear this option. Here you can see that the other one, the other option is called uh, thick provision lazily zeroid. So, what it means, it means that whenever you create the hard disk. Uh, of size of 500 GB, it will definitely occupy all the 500 GB, but will not format all the space at the time of creating virtual machine. By time, as they require uh, spaces uh, or uh, for uh, storing operating system or any other application, by time it will be uh, format. Uh, your storage media timely but at the at the time of creation it will not format the uh, drive so th these are the three important types when you are going to create uh, hard disk types during the virtual machine creation so generally it's recommended for best resource utilization you have to create the thin provision although two other options are available you can utilize them if you have uh, more resources on your data store or uh, on your physical host you can uh, go with uh, with them but it's recommended that you have to use the thin provision so i hope that you get the detailed concept of thin thick eager and thick uh, lazy option related to the virtual machine hard disk type